And it really is a great, great pleasure to see so many of you here for this, which is the seventh of the CRY annual parliamentary receptions. Um, you're going to hear virtually nothing from me because you're going to hear a lot more from a, a lot of people who've got serious things to say to you. Um, I hope you're going to enjoy yourselves. I hope to, if you haven't been to the building before, um, try and get a chance to have a quick look at it. We'll make you as welcome as we can. Um, it's a pleasure to welcome, um, but fleetingly in his absence, uh, Sebastian Coe, Lord Coe, popped in a few moments ago. Um, he told me he's just done four hours hard pounding uh, his annual dose of democracy with the Greater London Assembly. Um, answering questions, and he's gone off to settle some guests in in the House of Lords and hopes to be able to come back and join us later, so we'll look forward to seeing him, uh, in, hopefully, in not too long. Um, ben Brown, I gather, uh, our patron, is here. Andy Scott, another patron, is here. Catherine Harris, is Catherine here, or is she? We're, we're hoping she's going to come. Um, I know that Jeremy Bates has got the lurgy, so he can't be with us. Um, Simon Halliday, we think, is going to join us. And it's also a great pleasure to welcome, and, and more of this later, but our guest of honor, um, Phil Packer, who is the most recent um, patron of CRY. I'd also like to give a particular thank you to Calagas for sponsoring this. Events like this don't just happen, they have to be paid for. Calagas have been extremely generous in offering to pick up the tab. Um, they've actually been more generous than you will realize. The managing director, Steve Rennie, and his wife, Stevie, are here with us tonight. Um, without going into all the detail, they have a very particular and very personal reason for supporting CRY. Um, thank you, bless you both, and, and the firm for, for doing this for us. So, um, without further ado, because he's a busy man, he's got busy things to do, but he's found the time to come and join us, can I now introduce to you the Secretary of State for Health, Andy Byrne. <laughs> 